some plays here. This is Zach Moss. Obviously, uh, Jonathan Taylor, I don't believe, is playing uh, for a couple more weeks. But this Zach Moss kid, man, he's not bad. He, he's got good vision. This is just duo. And, and, and you'll see these. They'll go from the sideline to the end zone here on the All-22. But uh, they got their entire team in here. And watch this all bunch up. And then he finds his way through the backside here. And that's one of those things, man. I mean, a lot of running backs don't aren't able to make that backside cut all the way back like that on, on, on duo. And again, if you watch this, they got a humongous offensive line. Um, their offensive line are big. They've got some high, high draft picks on there. But they're going to pull their tackle here. And you, you'll see this from the end zone. And just watch. Don't watch necessarily the right tackle pulling. But watch the, the left guard, center, and right guard. And just they just consume – uh, I believe this is Tampa. They just consume those guys, and you got big bodies on big bodies. And, and again, I, that's what they're going to try to do in the run game. Uh, now, Minshew, what, what, what is Minshew known for, for? I mean, I think this is what I thought he was. I thought he was known for, as a scrambler. Like, so if you just watch this, these are broken plays. These are the big plays, but he, he's scrambling around here, you know, and, and, and ends up making a big play. And I believe uh, you know, most of these guys that you're going to see, I don't even, here's the crazy thing. I don't even have Michael Pittman on this on this cut up mm -hmm. and, and he's, he's the best receiver they've got, obviously, but they've got a bunch of guys making plays. They got a guy from UC, uh, Alex Pierce, yep. Alec oh, Pierce. Yeah. I mean, he's, that guy's making plays. Yes, he is. And, but I mean, this is the kind of stuff that the Bengals have got to be good at, uh, coming on Sunday is if they're in man coverage, you cannot. And here's, this is exact same thing right here coming up is this, it's just a, a scramble, but watch the offensive line on this play. Um, and how, how long they hold up. This is what the, the secondary cannot allow to happen. They have to hold their coverages because this dude's going to run, run around and he's going to do some things that, you know, and, and the Patriots, man, I mean, right there, there's not, a, it's not a great rush. A guy falls down. But again, the, holding your, your, your coverage in the back end because these scramble drills are real now. I mean, it, and it, I'm telling you, when you got a guy like Minshew, you, you practice this on a regular basis. This is not something that, uh, you know, you just hope happens. Like, this stuff is practiced. You see how guys are going deep. Some guys are coming forward. Some guys are running across. Um, those kind of things. Now, I threw this one on there because this, the, uh, this is the reverse uh, pitch back throw to the tight end. Uh, they do have some trick plays. And I've seen, I've seen some. Everybody's, everybody seems to be running this play right now. Texas scored on it in the Big 12 mm -hmm. championship. Uh, you know, it's, it's – you know, they've, but they've got some of this stuff with uh, – with this team. And again, you can do that with that big of a line. And when you have the run game going, you can run those type of plays um, because guys are going to be biting up. If uh, you need me to run, run through any plays again, just let no, me know. No, I'm, I'm good right here. So if you watch down here at the bottom, uh, this is Alec Pierce uh, down here at the bottom. He's going to run an inside release fade. So I, I had to throw in the UC guy here. Um, but he, man, he's making some plays. So, I, I, you know, him, he had over 100 yards. I think he had right at 100 yards in this game. Um, that was quite a few of them right there. But, again, you know, I think a guy like that, you know, coming back to, you know, where he played college ball, which obviously isn't that far away from where he's playing pro ball, but um, which is kind of the, one of the things, uh, Paul, for just saying, that's one of the things that doesn't make a, a whole lot, a lot of, not a lot of people think about. But they don't have to fly to this. You know what I'm saying? This is just a bus ride game. They still come over the day before and all that. But, like, the travel for the away team in this series is is probably one of the easier. Yeah. Like, I mean, you really you, – there's – there are some some games where the travel will you know kind of whip you a little bit. This one, uh, you're going to get a fresh team from Indianapolis, obviously, but it's one of those things where it's, it's such an easy drive down 74 that you know it's not that big a deal. No, but, it's a real easy. Run. Um, all right, the last two I got are sacks, and this is kind of some stuff you can you, when you got the really big O line, uh, the movement. Sometimes you can watch these pick games. The movement, if they if the Bengals can figure out a way to get some of this movement, which they do all the time. And get those big guys inside to pick for those out those those uh, DNs they've got, you know, and Hubbard Hendrickson, uh, Miles Murphy, and get guys to come around like this. I mean, the, the big guys, those big linemen, have a hard time with that kind of movement. And really, this is this is the same thing. They end up with a running back on a D lineman, and I, I, I don't I think this might be Zach Moss, but this running back doesn't give any effort because I always told the running backs, listen, you are firemen behind there. If there's a fire, you got to put it out. Whether you want to put it out or not, uh, you got to put it out. But I want you to watch this running back here. Um, he comes across, and he'll come to the right, and the uh, the D lineman's going to stunt back around to the right, and he doesn't want anything to do with him. Nope, not touching him. But 
So that's what I got for the offense. I think that the biggest thing, like I mentioned, is the run game with the big linemen. Just, you know, and, and the Bengals have, for the most part, the scheme takes care of the run. They got to make the plays. There's been too many mis- Who's not making the plays? Because a lot's been made up. People are beating up Jermaine Pratt. Uh, people have said Wilson, you know, outside of picks here and there is not playing as well. From When you're watching game film, is that accurate or inaccurate? I, I think they're not playing to the level they played at last okay. year or the years before. But, they, yes, they are. there are some times they're not making the plays like they've made. I think it's more the young safeties, some of the corners. There's been so much uh, movement in the back end of, of the Bengals secondary that a lot of these guys don't, haven't played together for full, you know, for games and games on games on games. You know, you've had either a corner out, you've got safeties change, and you got. So I think once they do that, it's the the run fits and things like that that are kind of not meshing like they have been in the past. And 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 that's where they've just got to, if they stay sound in what they're doing with the run game, then the next thing is is Minshew can't can't do those broken plays. I I don't think the Colts have the the talent to beat the Bengals. If they just line up and just are running, it's going to be those type of plays that are going to beat the Bengals if it happens. Okay, uh, we go on uh, defensive side next. Yep. Yeah, I got, got okay. I got five plays here. Okay. This will be uh, quick. I, I just want to point this out. So the the play, the first two plays I've got are are both forms of duo. So these are the straightforward double team runs, and this is what Mixon has been good at. And then Chase Brown showed the other day he can do this too. But if if they can just get on. A body on a body like like they've been doing. In this last game, the old line, man, you, they, they got juiced up because they finally ran the ball 31 yeah. times. But that's, a, that's the same exact play that the Bengals run five, six times a game when they like in this last game. They probably ran that more than that. And then here's Derrick Henry running basically the same play. They, they're doing a reverse, uh, not a reverse, but an opposite side mesh with the quarterback. But he's really doing the same play. And you can see this corner from the end zone, the corner he's running around right there. Uh, he wanted nothing to do with Derrick Henry. And I'm not saying Joe Mixon and Chase Brown are Derrick Henry by any means, but uh, I think you, if you look at this, he, he didn't want anything to do with that. And if you can get those running backs on a corner, I think you're going to be okay in this game. Um, the last three I got here are sacks. And, and one of the things that, 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 that the Bengals offensive line is going to have to play to is they do these pick games. And you'll see right here uh, that they're – from the, from the end zone, you'll see it. they're really just kind of – they're running in between guys trying to pick, and it's like they just keep going and keep pushing. And, and you'll see out here on the right as we look at it, um, you see how they just kind of push up through, push mm -hmm. up through, push up through, and then the, it all collapses. Uh, you just got to be able to handle that and not get pushed back as much as they're getting pushed back. Because I think with Browning, he can make those throws if he's given a chance. Uh, this is an up and under on the left tackle, and this is where um, – uh, you know, Orlando Brown, I don't know. Somebody told me he might have had a groin injury or something yes. a few weeks back. And, yeah. Yep. Um, he looked better in this last game, but this is one of those things when you – like the, on the left tackle here on the left side, you'll see he kind of up and unders him right here. And that's it's that's where a guy, maybe if he's not – if his, you know, anchor's not there as much, they could have issues with. And if you watch here, this 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 last play, there's going to be a what I call a TE. So the defense on the left side of the offense. So the tackle's going to go first and the end's going to loop inside. And then uh, it's just a, a butt whipping here on the on the right tackle, and again they they've got guys that can do that. Uh, whether or not the Bengals can hold up, if you see like right there, just it's just the pick games, the one arm bulls. Uh, there's nothing that they do that's spectacular up front, but they've got some good players. DeForest Buckner's still playing. I yeah. mean, you know, some of these other guys. You know, I, I've I've you know I've got a list of names here I've never really heard of as much, but. Uh, Dai, Dayu Ode in Ingbo. Boy, I killed that one. Good for you. Good for that you. That was great. That was Taekwon flawless. Lewis from Ohio State. Yep. Uh, Samson Ekubom. Yep. Ebukam. So, yeah, and then DeForest. But those guys, like, those guys stood out to me. I thought the D-line stood out to me. The rest of the guys, nothing really stood out to me. They used to have some good safeties there. And uh, with, with obviously they had Shaq Leonard, mm -hmm. uh, or I'm sorry, uh, he changed his name. There he go. He did change it to Shaq Leonard, didn't he? He yes. used to be Darius yeah. Leonard. Yeah, yeah Shaq Leonard. But, he, you know, they let him go. So, you know, they're playing with some backups at the linebacker position. All right.